There is no way around the fact that the Las Vegas Raiders season has not gotten up to the start that we wanted. In fact, eh, eh, like it's just, it's it's frustrating uh, and all the, the different levels. Uh, but we're not going to go. We're not going to just dig down uh, in the old salt wounds, if you will. We're going to look back at what's ahead. But we would be remiss, as my wife texts me, uh, uh, because she's awesome and I love her. I would be remiss if I did not say that uh, this season came down to this game versus the Denver Broncos for the Raiders. Now, there's a lot of different things that are going to go into this game. Clearly, uh, the Broncos are hope, might see if they get their offensive, uh, uh, you know, play calling and everything uh, in order. Also, we might see the Raiders' defense get everything together as well as you know uh, the play calling on that end of the football as well. So you know, uh, both sides of the football for the Raiders, I'm really worried about. Um, you know, but obviously uh, the Broncos have looked really good. They have looked fantastic in terms of defensively. Now, offensively is a different story. But you know, Russell Wilson and, and company, I think they're going to figure it out. But I, I got to tell you, the Raiders cannot let them do that because this this particular game is where the season is truly on the line because. Yes, you know, you start out 0-3, uh, you know, you were basically one possession away in every single game. You are one missed tackle, you are one play away, your defense gets one more turnover uh, away from uh, winning each of those games. And I honestly feel like, yes, uh, that is a coaching thing, but at the same time, your players have to know that, you know, the teaching, that uh, the, whether it's tackling, whether it's getting the right uh, play call in, or whether it's coverage, or whether it's uh, missing a block on a, on a blitz, or whatever it is, all that stuff can add up to one play being the difference. And I, I think the Raiders, now knowing the fact that this game really does come down to, uh, and, and what it is what will make their season, excuse me, I, I think that there is no room for error, and this is where we start getting ready to see this offense and this defense defense finally getting to full to full form here so you know uh, between Derek Carr and company it just the offensive line it, there's been worse there has been a lot worse uh, around the NFL but I just the only thing I, I want from the offensive line is just to be able to be uh, strong enough to be able to hold itself together give Derek Carr and company some time and be able to make some plays that's all I'm asking it doesn't need to be amazing you don't need to do uh, everything doesn't need to be uh, pitch perfect but I would love it if it was I, I would love it if uh, Derek Carr and company did not get sacked at all and if there were running lanes for days for Josh Jacobs and company uh, even yeah, and Zemir White everybody else but then defensively listen Max Crosby cannot be the only dude that's getting after the quarterback. I need to see something from Chandler Jones. I mean, this this contract right now, I mean, uh, there is uh, there was a lot of writing was on the wall for Chandler Jones. There's a lot expected of him right now. He has clearly not gotten the job done. And if he doesn't get the job done, put somebody out there who will. Because, yeah, I get it. He was uh, trying to look out for himself, you know, uh, really f uh, show, show that he could possibly, possibly bring something to the Raiders. But if Malcolm Kuntz or Tashawn Bauer can come in and make better plays for the Raiders defense, I'm all for it. So, you know, you know, as we look forward offensively here, yes, they need to put up 35 a game. Yes, uh, you know, that's uh, honestly the expectation here. Because even if uh, the Broncos only put up 13, I want 40. I want to put 50. If, scratch that. I want to put 50 on the Broncos. Uh, and then I want to be able to, uh, you know, kind of look forward because then the Chiefs. Yes, it's the Chiefs uh, game of the season. Uh, and that's it's the first one. So, you know, uh, when we talk about playoffs, when we talk about this division, it all comes down to these two games. Uh, you know, and I think if the Raiders um, can uh, win these next two games, I think they are right back in it now. Um, I do also think that there is something to be said for uh, the Raiders and their ability to, um, in my mind, come back from these things. We've seen it last year. You know, they started out 3-0. Um, I think they dropped a couple straight and things. Uh, you know, they looked like they were going to go downhill from there, but they didn't. They absolutely did not. The, the Raiders were able to figure it out. So, uh, but they are going to come back after this bye week. They have so they got to win the the game against the Broncos and the Chiefs, and then they come back against the bye week. That is the perfect time. To be able to regroup your two and three coming going into the bye, uh, you play the Texans, you play the Saints, and then you play the Jaguars. Three very winnable games, uh, and then all of a sudden things are looking up five and three, uh, still in the playoff hunt and making some noise. So I really do think that this team is is finally getting to the point now where it is realizing that this whole season, what's this? If I can't scuba, what's this whole thing been about? Classic office ref, office reference. You gotta love it. But this whole season comes down to this game versus the Denver Broncos because it would look it already looks bad. Zero and three heading into the last two weeks before the bye week, and then it look, would look even worse at zero and four, zero and five going into the bye week. Uh, yeah, everybody's cleaning house. It just it, that's what it comes down to. So I think the the Raiders and everybody in the organization knows that this is the game uh, where the season is on the line for the Las Vegas Raiders. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. If 
it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about the raiders season being on the line against the denver broncos